Summary of Charismatic Leadership by Kevin Murray Do you think you're charismatic? How much would you rate your charisma quotient on a scale of 1 to 10? Do you inspire your employees to work harder and achieve their goals? Do you instill confidence in them and persuade them to achieve the goals you have set for them? Are you sincere towards your work? If you answered these questions with a yes, you would probably think that you are quite charismatic. But what do your employees think of you? Would they agree with your answers to these questions? It has been found on surveys that employees often don't agree with their bosses when it comes to determining how charismatic they are. They rate their bosses far lower than the bosses rate themselves. And, charisma is important. There is no need to debate this point. Charisma inspires people to achieve more than they would otherwise, and that is what every business needs. When you think of the most inspiring leaders the world has seen, you probably think of someone like Steve Jobs or Nelson Mandela. What makes these people stand out is charisma. All leaders who use charisma have one thing in common, effective presence. This means that their character persuades other people to better themselves on fronts that they need to. Effective presence is cultivated by leaders using five trademark traits, authenticity, warmth, personal power, persuasiveness, and drive, with exactly the right amount of each. According to the research done by the author, a charismatic leader can make his employees feel 65% or more respected, 56% or more motivated, and 24% or happier to go above and beyond their intellectual and natural means and achieve more. You must have heard the phrase, time is money. The author worked with an engineer who had a slightly different approach. He believed that trust is money. If your employees trust you, you can bring about great changes with little resistance. Trust plays a major part in how comfortable customers and partners feel while working with you. Authenticity builds trust, and trust plays a major role in helping your organization achieve great success. The second pillar on which charisma stands is personal power. Movies often depict CEOs as ruthless people who don't care about hurting others for personal gain. Personal power is different from this. It is basically the strength your character has which motivates other people to look up to and follow you. Employees willingly follow someone who displays personal power. Grooming is a major part of this, and so is body language. So the next time you walk across your office, don't have your hands in your pockets, and make sure to smile when necessary. When you look across a room full of people you know, you'll find that you're more attracted towards some than the others. On analyzing the reason behind this, you will come to the conclusion that is it because of the emotional signature every person has. It could be negative which drains your energy, or it could be positive, which would make you feel invigorated. Analyze what your emotional signature is like, and if it is negative, disrespectful, aloof, try to make it positive and warm. If you're naturally introverted, try to hold random conversations with your employees, asking them about their life beyond the office, and be genuinely concerned about their problems. Warmth will make people gravitate towards you like nothing else. Waking up, and heading to the office can be a challenge for both employees and managers. To get pep aid up to go to the office every day and work to the best of their potential, there is something more than just a good salary that everyone needs, and that is drive. Leaders show charisma when they are driven by a cause. To motivate your employees and instill them to be driven, you should have a clearly defined message regarding what motivates you, like TEDs, to spread ideas and Teslas, to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energies praise your employees when they deserve it, and they will work harder than you could have wished for. The fifth component of charisma is persuasion. If you fear public speaking, you should know that most people do. But to be persuading, you need to develop that skill through practice. Most importantly, you should know how to connect with your audience, and there are few better ways than elaborating on your point using a story. An engaging story will pull the heartstrings of your audience and make them feel inclined to understand what you are trying to put through. Charisma is important in all walks of life. It can be developed through practice and being mindful of your behavior.